Hey guys, Pizza here. This video is about the new instance, Ghost Palace featuring AFK Saitama, so you can sit back and relax. Before starting, make sure to consume Mystic Frozen, Meal Bees, 6 pieces of original wool juice, and then Ice Controlling Alloy for maximum damage output. At first, buff workout for 3 times, to increase STR and VIT by total of 150. After buffing, use Enforcement of Justice as the first attack for maximum damage, then turn on Auto and then AFK. See you again in 10 minutes. Just kidding. Of course I will try to explain more about this while the run goes on in the background. But honestly speaking I don't have any background for Saitama, so just correct me just in case. And also feel free to adjust anything if you have better items or cards available in your account. Now let's get into it. First for stats allocation, put some in decks first just enough to reach 500 hit for PV and then max STR for the damage of skills, then max Agi because of his auto attack, which converts 10 Agi into 1% move speed, and is also beneficial for his passive skill, Agility of Hero, which is for every 1% move speed, attack increases by 5 points, and the final damage of Enforcement of Justice by 0.75%. Now back to stats allocation, put the rest to VIT for HP, and also for his passive skill, Intuition of Hero, which is, when the damage taken is less than your STR and VIT, then the damage is ignored. And while in fast move, the effect increases by 5 times. This is why Saatama can just AFK in Ghost Palace. As you can see, the damage of the Fire Ground skill just appears as miss. As for my auto attack skill slot, I have auto attack for the passive skill, terminating punch for 8% chance to use enforcement of justice and to increase damage reduct by 50%. Now back to auto attack skill slot, successive attack, enforcement of justice, and then fast move. As for rune placement, it's recommended to go for 7 over 7 for maximum damage output, and then equip all the red and yellow attribute runes that will boost your damage. For arcane runes, I put war of preparedness, indestructible, and then white blade rune. And now for equipments, again just adjust anything if you have a better item or card option available. The most important card that we will be needing for this AFK build is Cobalt Leader card so we can lifesteal. And then if you don't have Drake Star card, you can use Minerous Star card, but make sure to use Expert Precision Stone. As for headgear, another option is Homestead of Snowy Owl. For more water damage, and then an additional 10% damage, since the element of the MVP is fire. By the way, here is the first line of the random attribute of my offhand, armor, garment, and shoes. As for the offhand and garment cards, other options are Thor card or Moonwolf card for more water element damage. For my accessories, both of it only have 8% of the first line. And then here is my shadow equipment. And just in case you are wondering, here is the handbook depot. A few minutes later. The instance run lasted for a total of 9 minutes and 33 seconds. By the way, after the ice controlling alloy expires and the run is still not done, use ice mastery alloy for 5% water damage. I forgot to use it because I was literally AFK during this run. Anyways, that is just what you need for AFK Saitama build in Ghost Palace. And that's all for this video guys. Don't forget to like or subscribe to stay tuned for more. See you guys again next time and thank you for watching.